all right, let's go ahead and solve this problem here. Uh, we're going to use the product rule, the power rule, and uh, the chain rule, and also the rule for logarithms. So there's quite a bit going on here. So let's go ahead and start first by recognizing that this is a function and this is a function separately. So that's uh, where the power rule is going to come up. So uh, f of x is um, going to be, we first take the derivative of the first function, leave the second function alone. Then we take the derivative of the second function, which is natural log of minus 2x plus x to the minus 1. Uh, we take the derivative of that and leave the first function alone. We'll put that in parentheses. Okay, so then what we have to do then is uh, again, taking the derivative of this using the power rule, then this becomes, you bring the one down, the negative one down, so it becomes one x to the minus two. And just for simplicity, let's get rid of that one. And uh, we just leave the natural log of minus 2x plus x to the minus 1. Leave that alone. Now, I'm going to bring this out to the front just because it's easier to kind of move it out of the way. It's a 1. And now I have to take the derivative of, of this guy. So this is 1 over minus 2x plus x to the minus 1. But now, because there's an inside function, I have to take the derivative of this. So um, to work on that, we should really take the derivative of that piece, which is simply minus 2. And then um, take the derivative of the second part, which is uh, minus one x to the minus two. Now, there's a, there's a problem here with simplifying, I would say, to some extent, it's problematic. So, but I believe you have to do it regardless. So let's see how far we can get here. And hopefully it matches, it matches um, the answer that you're being asked to uh, produce. So x to the minus one over minus two x. plus x to the minus one. So I'm combining that and uh, multiplying it by that piece. So it's gonna be a minus two. So for now, let's put a minus two there. And then um, multiplying this with Let's go ahead and multiply it with this. So that gives me an x to the minus three. Uh, and I'm having to be, so I'm having to be careful with the minus signs really, uh, but I think I'm, I'm in good shape because I still have this minus sign out here. So um, the denominator is minus two X plus X to the minus one. And I'm gonna distribute that minus sign.
That's plus now, 2x to the minus one over negative 2x plus x to the minus one and then plus x to the minus three over negative two x plus x to the minus one. So that's what I'm getting at this. And we'll go ahead and accept that as our answer. And hopefully it closely matches what the computer is requesting, but essentially we followed all the necessary steps. <laughs> 